Hey everybody, Stone Darter Studios here. I'm gonna do a pour over today. Didn't like this. It came out. Um, it was a shovel pour. Did the little shovels that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I didn't like it. So let it dry and cure. And today I'm gonna do a flip cut with most of the metallics. Um, I've used the um, Folk Art Blue Sapphire, Folk Art Antique Copper, Folk Art. Ice Blue, Folk Art Pure Gold, and Folk Art Pearl White, along with Folk Art uh, Sequin Black. Then we have our Apple Barrel um, Colors Caribbean Blue. I matched that with the, sat with the um, uh, Ice Blue. The Burnt Umber that I matched with the antique copper and then the cobalt blue that I matched with the uh, blue sapphire um, so let me get some gloves on please invest in a less than ten dollar box of hundred dollar can hundred count gloves you don't want you poisoning yourself with paint that would not be good Please use gloves. And this is just a canvas uh, paint. This is just a, a 11 by 14 canvas. I accidentally ordered canvas instead of stretched. So I decided just to go ahead and use them instead of returning them. And after a painting is dried and cured, it's no problem pouring over it. This is a dirty pour. I've just gotten everything with the flow in it mixed it up poured it into my cup which is right here everything's already mixed up I'm going to I've got my rack out and my four little lid cup little my little Gatorade lids to keep this off the racks so I'm just gonna put this on top of the cup like so put it in the middle and flip it and then let that settle just for a minute not even a minute and I put a little WD-40 in the cup to help loosen the paint from the sides and it's going to help with a few cells hopefully in this pour so we're going to lift Sit this to the side. Top of that. It's already running off the canvas. Okay, so let's move it around just a little bit. I've never done a mostly metallic pour before. I was hoping I had enough paint, and I do. I haven't got enough paint. And I thought the copper was going to take over, but it didn't. It's like the blue took over. Okay, move that back down just a little bit. And I'm going to flip these lids so the back of the painting doesn't stick to them. Now I need to get a stick, popsicle stick, got these in bulk, whoops, because there's something right here that I need to get out, I need my goober, a goober in there have a goober in your painting because when it dries and dries flat that goober will be standing straight out okay now we're going to do the heat gun oops i'm just dropping stuff turning stuff over i'm just making a mess today the old bubble there okay here we go get some of these bubbles out See what kind of cells 
merge. I don't think a lot are going to come up on this one. Which is okay, because not every painting has to have cells. Got a little bit of caterpillaring. And a few cells popping up. And since this is mostly metallic and will shine on its own, I will be able to use matte sealer, and it won't matte, it won't turn it matte. It'll, the, the the paint, the, the metallic paint will um, show right through, and will still be shiny. And that's how you do a pour over. Just make sure it's dry and cured. And then pour over it, and then you have a new painting. I don't think that's that bad. Give you a quick close up. Not too bad, huh? It's like a masculine painting, it might be good for a guy. Okay guys, you all have a beautiful week and a great Memorial Day, which is Monday. No, the 27th? I can't remember what day it is. Anyway, it's next week. Bye!